Hello, my most amazing artists. We are going to be putting on our glaze on our clay pieces today. I'm going to say this a lot, but I need you to hear it. Your clay pieces have not been through the kiln or big oven, so they are very, very fragile. If you set this down too hard on a table, it will break. Please be super careful. You're gonna have a lot of colors of glaze to use today. At each table, I have glaze. At the red table, I have red glaze. At the yellow table, I have red, uh, yellow. At the green table, I have green. At the orange table, I have orange. You get the idea. Over at the silver table, I have white. So you have eight different colors to use today for your clay ornaments. If you are afraid that you are going to break your ornament because you know that you might be a little bit clumsy, that's all right. I will help you move it, or you can do it all one color. When you glaze, this is gonna come out shiny after it goes through the kiln. It's gonna go on today and you're gonna be like, um, I don't really like it. That's because it's not baked. After this is baked, this has glass in it. You can't see it, it's very, very small, but it heats up and then it makes it beautiful and shiny. So it's not gonna look pretty yet, but it will when you're done. One other thing you have to know, we cannot glaze the back. We never glaze the back because it has that um, glass in it. It heats up, it becomes liquidy. If it's sitting in the kiln on the shelf and this melts and gets liquidy, when it cools off, it's gonna to stick to the shelf and I'm not gonna be able to get it off the shelf and you are not going to have an ornament. We do not glaze the back. No glaze on the back. You can do the sides, you can do the top, you can do the inside of the circle, but you cannot glaze the back. Okay, when we glaze, I am going to start with a green today. And I'm going to go right over my whole ornament. There are two different size brushes at tables. I've got a bigger brush like this, and then I've got a smaller brush if you wanna do details. You can see this dries really quickly. That's awesome. I would suggest you do your whole ornament like one color to start with so that you have a good base coat. All right, see how quickly that dries? It's super cool. I am going to glaze the inside. It will dry really quickly. I'm going to glaze the sides. Not going on to the back, remember. Gonna be careful. Glaze the sides. And then, in order to have glaze be a nice, rich, dark color, you have to put on two coats. You can't just put on one coat and expect it to look great. That's just not the way glaze works. I have one coat on right now. It'll dry pretty quickly. Then, I'm going to put on a second coat really quickly because this will help it be really nice and pretty after it comes out of the kiln. That second coat will not dry as quickly, but it doesn't take a long, long time. So there's my second coat on top. Of course, I'm working quickly too. Then I'm gonna put a second coat on the sides, being careful not to go on to the back. Your hands are gonna get dirty. It's cool. We'll clean them off at the end, no big deal. You can see that second coat is starting to dry like right there. That's great. I'm gonna go around with my second coat. Okay, and then on the inside with my second coat. You have to be super careful with this today. Please, please, please do not drop them. Okay, I have on my second coat, my brush stays at the green table. Hey, one thing, these brushes, they don't rest in the paint they rest on the plate that's at the table. Don't put the brush in the glaze to rest. That's not where they go. Then I've got these little smaller brushes as well. I'm gonna use my smaller brush now that some of this has started to dry. And I'm going to come and use it 
to make smaller, colorful areas. Then I'm going to be done. I am not going to go color crazy because I kind of like the simplicity of the red and green. Then I'm going to go around on each of these and make them red. And then I think I'm going to be done. Like it's not a, a big long process. When you're done today, these will go back to the clay cart. These little mats get thrown away. You have to be careful when you walk around the room. When you carry these, do not carry it like your ornament is in a hammock. What I mean is, don't carry it like this. That's not smart. Put your hand underneath and then hold on two hands as you walk around. Um, get a baby wipe, wipe down your hands, or I guess you could go to the restroom too, either one is fine. I will need help cleaning up when we are done, so be listening for me to ask for people to help. Here we go.